Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be jumping into another Mr. Nightmare reaction. Mr. Nightmare just released a video called Four True Scary Stories with Footage, bro. Alright, so usually with Mr. Nightmare videos, he usually has some sort of theme. Like, it could be, like, like past couple ones, there was New Year's Eve party horror stories, Christmas Eve horror stories, whatever the fuck. But... This one has no particular theme, so e no particular theme. So each story could have its own sort of theme, its own sort of like storytelling aspect to it. But we're gonna be seeing the footage at the end of the video. All right, at the end of each story. So you know how like I think he's done something like this before. Maybe, maybe it was a different channel I seen it on. But I always wonder like when you see these stories, like do they not have recordings of this? Or if they do, I want to see them. Like you, you always want to see recordings to these stories. Now. We're gonna be seeing that, alright? And if you noticed, we're recording on the Nikon D5300, the new camera, upping the quality. The quality probably looks so fresh, so clean, clean, so crisp, alright? But, as you can hear with audio, it is really shit. My phone actually has better audio than this camera. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to get a secondary mic soon, probably have a better setup sort of, sort of deal. Like, uh, have a setup here, then we'll have the headset, we'll have the camera, everything. It'll just be crisp videos. Hey, bro. The channel's go. This channel's going up. All right, we're we're becoming a goat tier channel. All right, we're up in the quality. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Something dumb like ninety nine percent of you are not subscribed, bro. Seriously, seriously though, how can I have one point nine something k subscribers that I do that I do care deeply about? I care about all you guys that subscribe to the channel, but only ninety nine percent of you. But only I'm fuck. I messed it up. <laughs> only one percent of you watches my videos bro and the other 99 just watch it and don't hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button fuck it all right just go through my videos see if you like any of my reactions if you like any of my videos i'm planning on doing uh different stuff in the future especially with this camera we're gonna get more crisp shots maybe some skits maybe some sketches maybe some a little bit of everything all right i have a gaming channel too link in the description subscribe to the channel all right enough rambling let's jump on into the video true stories with video footage dun, dun, dun. And look, it has all the names too. That's so rare. Wait, it only said three stories. What? Only th only showed three stories. Don't tell me January one person has two stories. What? My buddies and I live right next to a nature preserve and used to love to explore it. It was a weekend and we were looking for something to do. And being mischievous, we decided to go explore the storm drain that supplied water to the creek in the nature preserve. Mm. It had a barred barricade blocking entry into it. So we decided we'd throw some rocks in to see if the rocks made contact at any point so we could figure out the depth. However, we received something much more in return. After throwing a rock against the wall in the storm drain, a couple seconds passed, and we heard a terrifying thump or bang in return. What the hell? Dusk was approaching, so we called it a day and watched back over the video we recorded. Bro, that, that's not that creepy, alright? They're gonna go over the video. If they see some eyeballs or some shit, maybe there's some person kidnapped chilling down there, that'd be creepy. But right now, this this is this is uh, entry-level shit, alright? Uh, we've heard worse on this channel, let's just say that. But, uh, you know, I mean, it could, it could just be an echo, some sort of deal like that. Maybe there's, uh, maybe there is something down there, but it doesn't have to be something like worst case scenario, like a human could be a fucking animal. You know, maybe it could be a dead deer. Lighten up. They dubbed it. The next weekend, I gathered a few more buddies, and we decided we would unbolt the barricade to the drain and go inside. Whose drink is that? I got Pick the up barricade your fucking drink, drink, Tyler. I <laughs> made our entrance. It went in about 20 feet until it hit a dead end. However, there was a second branch of the drain to our left that we'd have to take a step up to get into. Wait, you decided, you still decided to go in there? By one, all five of us. At first, it was nothing but spider webs and mud. We traveled about 500 to 1,000 feet into the drain as it kept getting skinnier, and we had to duck to proceed. We were all frozen in our tracks as we heard the same exact thump we heard the weekend before. A scary and hard to describe sound. We had no signal and were beyond terrified at that point because we were all right next to each other and the noise had come from much further away. That's a nice, that's a nice this mischievous point, laugh you added, Mr. Nightmare. I like that. Else happened. There you go. We made it out of the. First off, why the fuck are you going back down there? That that's my first question. You you heard that weird thug like, oh, oh my god, dude. Uh, great, you got it for the camera. Show it to your friends. Get some pussy. I don't give a fuck. But don't go back down in there. Even there, I was saying like it's not the worst thing in the world. Like we've heard worse, but I still wouldn't walk my ass down in there. Are you kidding me? Safely, without anything else happening. 
The scariest and most chilling part of this whole story was when I reviewed the video and saw a slight outline of a head at one of the turns of the drain. This couldn't possibly have been one of us because we had all been together. I don't know, bro. I took a screenshot of it and zoomed in as far as I could. And well, I was horrified. There in the frame was a demon-shaped looking head with glowing eyes and what appeared to be pointy ears. Where's that guy from the Goonies? Hey, you guys! He, he, he's the real life one, right? And ad, of course. Would be a Miss Nightmare uh, reaction without an ad. It all started when a group of friends and I decided to start exploring abandoned warehouses due to the stories and myths surrounding them in our hometown, Laredo, Texas. Mm, that sounds fun. The story surrounding the area of warehouses was that the buildings were haunted due to immigrant workers being worked and mistreated to death. The local news covered the death mm. of many of the workers. Fun. Yeah. Many of the deaths were also sounds ignored by the intriguing. authorities due to the illegal status of the workers. In the warehouse that we visited, the company was in charge of the maintenance of the railroad tracks as well as the disposing of hazardous material. In the video I recorded, the barrels filled with chemical wastes are seen spilled open. The warehouses are located in a part of town where there's nothing really around except for train tracks. The predominantly Hispanic culture of my city gave rise to the stories about railroad workers that had lost their lives in the area. We decided to explore the warehouse during the day and then during the night. Oh, pussies during the day off the jump. <laughs> we found remains of what seemed to be remnants of satanic rituals because we found a chicken's foot and pentagram. Sorry about that, the battery died. <laughs> souls of the workers. We also spotted a makeshift couch or bed where the workers would sleep. Bullshit, it's where the workers the sleep. That's where the homeless people sleep, brother. We had the feeling we were being watched. We were actually also being followed and attacked by crows inside the building. <laughs> oh, <not bad. laughs> This one? Why do they sound like they're on fire? Are they electric crows? What the hell? While we were exploring that night, on several occasions, we spotted shadows and heard noises throughout the area. As we delved deeper, we got the feeling that someone or something didn't want us in the warehouse. No shit. A creepy laugh can be heard in the video footage I captured, and that was our cue to get the hell out. Nada. I don't think there's no power. Hey Dave, you wanna get out of here? Let's go get some food or something, man. Fuck this. I... Things only got weirder though. It's the Joker's the lair. What the fuck you and the chicken foot were gone the next time we passed that spot. Yet they were spotted only earlier that day. I'm completely convinced that someone or something was stalking us in that warehouse. Well, that you night. found that during the day and you went back. The lost you souls of the idiotic workers, motherfucker. A satanic group of people that frequented the place were there that night with us, watching. As we walked Possibly. out of the warehouse. We noticed that the crows were very on edge and tried to attack us, like I mentioned earlier. The events that yeah. happened that night still sometimes keep me up at night. Crow's foot was probably over there. They killed my brother. Let's get their asses. I'm a freshman at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Some friends of mine came home from a hockey party after their game. And asked hey, me to come hockey brothers, my my they boys. Some girls to the party that they knew from high school and happened to be in the city. They came back to the dorm to hang as well. One of the girls that came in was super friendly but very drunk. Oh, big red. I didn't see her drink anything in the dorms. I left with my girlfriend at about 2 a.m. At around three, party I heard brothers. sirens and could see lights outside of my window. I figured it was just another kid that came home with alcohol poisoning. Then I heard the most gut-wrenching scream of my life. I walked out of my room and saw my friends from the dorm I had just left running down the hall wanting my help. I started running down the hall following them and saw blood on the floor and thought for sure someone had been stabbed. Then I saw three police officers and a paramedic team strapping the front it's of the stretcher while she was screaming and thrashing. Bro, you I got this on camera. What happened and they looked exhausted. They said her eyes rolled back into her head. She started growling and bleeding heavily from both nostrils. She attacked some of our friends, yanking their hair and biting them like an animal. This girl fought off three six-foot-tall, fairly muscular guys by herself. Keep in mind, this girl is probably five foot one, 110 pounds, and was possessing superhuman strength all while screaming at the top of her lungs. The scariest part is when the RA came over to pray over the situation, as he's a devoted Christian. And she started screaming, F God, F Jesus, the devil is coming for you all. At this oh, point, my heart was sinking in great. pure fear of the situation, as was everyone else who was Bro. present. 
The emergency responders said they had never seen anything like this, drink? even if she was possibly drugged at the party. I was able to capture a roughly 20 second video of her screaming in the dorms. Oh you can't God, really see bro. her as the paramedics are in the way, but if you listen closely towards the end of the video, you can hear her scream, they're coming for you all, they're coming for you next. I don't want to hear this, dude. Night, she woke up with no memory of the situation, but is in a very dark place at the moment. This bro, is she's the video getting, that was she's happening. possessed, brother. What the fuck did I just watch? This bitch just legitimately screaming, it's coming for you next. And she has no recollection of this. This bitch was possessed when she drank. Tainted devil's blood? My god. What the fuck? That is honestly the scariest story I've ever heard on this channel. It's not even the scariest story, I should say. It makes it scary because he had the footage with it. Like, the footage... Bro, and, and you know he said it got a 20 second long video roughly. He only showed like five seconds of that. Because he knows if he showed longer, he probably would have got demonetized, video taken down, something like that. Because that is petrifying. Honestly. And we got a we got a long story for the last one. He always adds, adds a long story for the last one. So, yeah, let's go. In my small town, there's not much to do. Same so here, bro. and I make the best of it. In the winter, we sometimes throw snowballs at cars. <laughs> this was after we got done ice fishing one day. We went to my house Bro, and decided it was a fun to throw snowballs at cars for a while. Usually no one would get too angry as they were just snowballs. But one person got really mad at us. My friend Drake decided to throw a snowball at one more car <laughs> and he told me to record. He, fucking... he hit right under the back passenger side. Nail it sounded like cars. a hard hit. We stayed there for a second, laughing until he slowed down and eventually threw it in reverse. Bro, look at you guys. Yeah. Bro, this is gonna be a long video. That's what's gonna make it long, because this isn't really much of a story. You can tell these kids are like 10. They're just trying to fuck around. You know what I mean? They decided to share the story and the footage on a Reddit or something like that, because that's what they do. But, like, they, they don't know any better. But seriously, you're, like, 10 years old. Like, they, they're not going to give you any creative story to really go by. This is going to be pure footage we're going to see. Oh, shit. Watch him. He's going to cop out his car, bro. And then this is what he means. He's coming for you next. That's not like a hard hit, though. He's looking, he's looking for you. We ran and hid behind I a car in a different you. parking lot. And he pulled in about five feet from us, but he didn't see us. So we ran home, and that's when I stopped recording. When we got home, we took off our jackets and sat down to watch the video I just took. But we were interrupted by this sound. They're balling their eyes out right now. I froze in my seat. Then again. <laughs> I didn't think he's adding his own audio effects too, bro. Still, I turned off the lights. My dogs went crazy. Drake and I are 14. We don't get scared that easily. But this was freaking us out. <laughs> we're 14. We're practically grown adults. They didn't look 14 in that video, bro. If you're 14 years old, you're not wearing a full snowsuit, alright? This must have been like a year or so ago. Like, honestly. But, like, there's just, there's just kids. They don't understand. When they get to be like 18 years old, like, like my age, like 18, 19 years old, and they have a car, car insurance, payments to do on it, and they need this car to get you to and from wherever the fuck you need to go, and you got little bastard kids throwing pieces of ice and snow at it, denting your car the fuck up, when you already have damages and troubles with it, they're going to be pissed off too. You'd be wanting to go kick the little shit out of these little bastard kids, these little fucking cunt bastard kids. He hid in my bathroom in my room and turned off the light. I didn't have the ball to do shit like this, though, when I was younger, so that's different. Our friends thought we were joking, so we took videos of him still pounding on the door. Our friends thought it was funny and karma, he's, but he's we didn't find glass, it amusing bro. anymore. We thought we were in danger yeah, because he wouldn't leave. No! 
So I called it's my karma. mom, who was at the Walmart no shit. 10 minutes away. She sounded more like she was angry at us for throwing snowballs at cars than concerned that someone was banging on the door. Shit. She said she would call one of the neighbors to come. Of course, she's mom. concerned that someone's banging on the door, right? That, that, she pays for that door, bro. <laughs> She pays, she, pays, she pays monthly for that fucking door. Of course she's going to be pissed off someone's banging the door, but she's going to be pissed at you because this wouldn't have happened if you didn't throw snowballs and didn't get yourself in this situation. That's what she's more concerned about, what she's more mad about. So stop being little fucking cunts. <laughs> Play some video games or something. Video games are fun. Play some video games. Play GTA. You can take a bat and nail it over the head of a hooker rather than just throw some snowballs and some cars passing by. It's a lot more entertaining. We call one of the neighbors to come scare him off. Then she hung up. It felt like an eternity before he stopped banging on the front door, but only a couple minutes passed, and then the banging sounds came from a different door, and it hit me that I didn't lock that door, and he could easily come in. Then I got a disturbing call from my mom, telling me one of the neighbors said she could see a deranged looking man, possibly drugged out, looking through my room's window and the front door window. We sat there for as long as we could, and decided to make a plan to get the 410 shotgun in my mom's room, load it, and then make a break for it. But when we entered my mom's room to look for the gun, we saw his face at the window. Oh, his great. hairy, withered-looking face. That's a 14-year-old mentality. Man. Drake had the idea to blast the police siren sound on my speaker in my room, so we ran to set the speaker oh, up. Oh, genius! I'll do I mean, he is drugged out, he might believe it. But that's a 14-year-old mentality. We're gonna go grab the gun, and then we're gonna run... And then if we see him, we're going to blow his brains out. It's not that fucking simple, all right? There's going to be a lot of a lot of court problems to go through. You're going to be getting in trouble already for throwing shit at the car. Uh, and, and it's probably not that easy to blow the brains out of a human being. You're not going to live that shit down, all right? That's the mentality and the panic of the situation. But it's not It's, it's not that simple. Heard the back door open. The they're they're in a video game right lines. now. Never mind. That's what's going on. Drake managed to get the siren sound effect to play on my speaker. And that apparently worked. As we heard him leave through the same door he entered. Moments later, one of the neighbors, Paul, rang the doorbell. I let him inside and he stayed with us and waited for the cops and my mom to get there. We explained everything. The cops got there before the my mom, she wouldn't even said leave we shouldn't have been throwing snowballs at cars like that, obviously. And that no we shit. got lucky that they showed up when they did. My advice is to never mess with people like we did. You never know who you're dealing with. Yeah, bro. But also, it's kind of creepy to think about it, how uh, the little clip you see in the beginning of us, that's not even that severe. It's not even the worst one we've seen. That clip's really, really nothing. All they did was throw snowball at a truck that's driving by. And now that they described the story, which I, I, I gotta give more credit, that was a decent story. I thought it'd be more footage than anything. But uh, he, hit, he hit the truck and you see like the story he told all built up from just that little clip you've seen and that's the crazy thing to think about but yeah anything else you want me to react to leave it in the comments down below hope you enjoyed the video uh more mr nightmare reactions coming soon more videos coming soon to this channel like i said i have a second channel link in the description down below hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like subscribe and peace Bring me